Hi flower friends, I am walking out to the garden. It is evening time. It is nighttime, it's getting darker. I just was out here doing some weeding, pardon the closeness of my face. And I just had to come back out here with some neem oil because my little cucumbers that are coming up are being devastated by the flea beetles. And what I was doing I'm a little embarrassed to show you this, but do you see all that? This right here, see that? This is a weed that came up in the manure that I spread around and this is my bean patch. And what I was doing is I was leaving these weeds to grow up because the flea beetles were all over them. So I said, well, if I leave this there for the flea beetles to eat, maybe they won't eat my cucumbers and my eggplants. I was wrong. They're still eating my cucumbers and my eggplants. And now here's my conundrum. Is this attracting the flea beetles? Do they want this mustard lettuce that's growing up? So I'm going to be going through and pulling all of it up. It comes up real easy. Like you can see that I'm just... Pulling it up and it's all coming up, roots and all, it's all coming up. It's just littered with flea beetle damage. Hello. And uh, I don't know. My theory was let's see if I can leave this mustard stuff and maybe uh, my actual vegetables that I planted wouldn't be damaged. But look at all this. And it's just a small part of it. It's really only in a little bit of an area because I've been hoeing and stuff regularly so you can see it's not bad over where my tomatoes are this way not that way oh, this way you see all those little milk cartons I gotta pick up that's from planting all my tomatoes that I started well I didn't start them but I transplanted them into the milk pints from school so I'm gonna be using this neem oil I buy it concentrated and let's see I buy it concentrated. I can't even see my cucumber plants. Where is my camera even? Right there. So, my cucumber plants are down there. So I'm just going to soak them in the neem oil. There's another one right here. And hopefully it will deter the flea beetles at least for the night. And this will only last until uh, it rains and then it will be a goner. They're they're covered in flea beetles right now as I'm spraying it. Those little bastards. I'm gonna kill them. Wow. Well, so, ugh. I'm spraying. I probably have about 20 or 30 cucumber beetles. I apologize. I'm using my phone right now. I don't mean to be so close, but my arm is only so long and I don't have a. I didn't bring a tripod out with me. Let's see if it'll hang on this. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna. Look at the beautiful evening we have here. Let's see if I can set it up. Huh. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and spray. So I have a cucumber trellis set up here. And I have like eight steaks and probably one, two, three, four, probably 30 cucumber plants on this one trellis. I just can't risk it. And this is the one year in like four years that I didn't start my plants inside. Because usually... If you start your plants inside and you get a couple of sets of leaves on them, then the flea beetles, they'll damage them, but they're not going to take them out. But because I started right in the ground, I put the seeds in the ground this year. <sighs> they're taking them out. They're taking them out. So I'm just going to, oh, there's one that's unburied itself, a seed. Shove that back into the ground. Oh my gosh, look how close I am. I'm so sorry. I brushed my teeth, I promise. Oh, here's the damage. See that? Do you see how bad that is? I'm just going to spray the crap out of it. The middle, like that one's fine because it just emerged, but they're all over. They're just like turning my plants white. These are potatoes that are coming up. Okay, so they're turning my plants white. They're eating them. Not thrilled. You might ask yourself, did you really start cucumbers and potatoes eight inches apart yes yes i did oh my gosh 
The garden has valuable real estate, and I like to use every square inch of it. Ooh, there's more cucumber starts down there. So I'm going to have to do this um, after every rain. And that's okay, because I have the concentrate, like I said. And you just take, I don't know if it's an ounce or something, but you just follow the directions on the neem oil. It's an organic treatment. Here are my eggplants. And they look a little yellow, but actually they're doing, they're doing fantastic. But uh, that was yellow because I didn't get them. Holy crap, guys. I'm so sorry. This is just an impromptu video. I didn't, I didn't, um plan on this so neem oil needs to be sprayed uh, in the evening after your bees and stuff have gone to bed and my bees have all gone to bed um, because while it is wet it will impact um, the pollinators so it does not disintegrate dis disintegrate discriminate I'm like <laughs> Shooting it like a crazy person. Anyway, this video is now six minutes long and it's just me and basically going up my nose while I try to talk to you. So anyway, it's a no big a deal. It's a, just a piece of cake. And I'm hoping that this neem oil treatment, oh gosh, let me just stop and talk. Look how much like <laughs> fresher I look when I'm like this. <gasps> Hi, instead of like this, it's for neem oil, neem oil. That should be the thumbnail of the video. So sorry. Uh, this is what you just get with Nicole Pitt. That's me. So anyway, my friends know that and they're laughing because they know that that's how I act. So anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, anyway, what do you think? Answer my question. Are those mustard lettuce weeds attracting to the flea beetles to my garden? Are they attracting them or are they here anyway? help help me out thanks so much for watching this video and my nose hairs we'll see you next time